Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joshy Singer. I'm Ronnie Mitchell. And we are two-fifths of Blessing a Curse, here to give you our top five tour tips. Uh, I think number one tour tip is make sure you're on time for loading. If the next city you're playing in is four hours away, leave five, six hours ahead. Because if you're late, everybody's late, you fucked it all up, and you don't want to be the fuck up. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to have to deal with the tour manager being pissed at you either. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. can be scary. Always um, leave early. <laughs> Uh, definitely make sure to bring a pillow for yeah. sleeping. I left mine at a friend's house that we stayed at last night and I had to go to Kmart and spend a whole nother $5 today. Who wants to do that? So bring a pillow, bring one from home if you can, if you have good pillows at home. As an, as an upcoming band, you're gonna be sleeping in the van a lot and pillows and sleeping bags definitely come in handy to make it more comfortable because it really isn't comfortable, so. Yeah. And for That's me, tip. I, yeah, I can't really sleep if, if I'm not like super comfy. So like what helps I think on the road is um, I take melatonin, which is just like a like a natural Sleeping remedy. Deep. Yeah, that it helps you fall asleep. So it's not like uh, it's not like taking Zequil or like something, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. anything it's, like that it's every natural. night. Yeah, it's natural. So I would recommend taking that. That'll make you nice and sleepy. Bring a pillow. And if you're touring or living anywhere up north, um, you will probably already know to bring a sleeping bag, <laughs> but it will come cold. in handy. Yeah. Uh, especially um, if you have to turn your van off uh, at night, because yes. sometimes we don't <laughs> we don't always have enough gas to like leave it running the whole night and it's leave the heat. It's not good for running. the car. Either. It's not good for the engine either. Yeah, so we usually just shut it off and seal ourselves up in our little cocoons. Cocoon. Um, uh, I would say tip number three is bring extra things to do. You're on a long six-hour drive. You know, you want cards. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you can get a TV like we have in ours and in, in the system, you know, bring a game system. Bring some books. Oh yeah. Maybe make up some games. It, it can get pretty boring. And Definitely. as much as we love music. Listening to music for six hours straight can get old as well, so. And bring headphones too, because you're not always gonna want to listen to the same music as the rest of the people in the van, you yeah. know? And then that way you can just kind of like, honestly, I uh, I like to, well, I've got like Hulu, Netflix, everything. I, I try to download it or as much apps that let me watch videos and movies as possible, because that's kind of how I stay up on TV and shit, because my wife controls what we watch back yeah. home. So I don't, it's either- Freedom! Just, yeah, well, I, I love RuPaul's Drag Race, but that's like the only show that we both watch together. The rest of them, we can't agree on anything. So, you know, bring Hulu or Netflix on your phone if you can. Um, Make your life more enjoyable. I would say a extremely important tip is to bring a cooler if you can fit it and go shopping because eating fast food will not only make you extremely unhealthy, it'll empty your pockets and it's just better to have a cooler for all of your beer and food needs. <laughs> uh, it, it comes in handy. We also have a little grill that we brought so we can go over to Walmart or Publix, wherever we want to go, grab kind of food and cook it ourselves instead of eating junk all the time. Very true. That's what tip number four. Yeah, I, I so, get a loaf of bread and like some peanut bread, butter yeah. and jelly and you just, that'll last you for like, you know, seven seven or eight days depending save on your, how much you Save you your money eat. and save you calories. Definitely. Um, tip number five, what Ooh. would you say? The final oh. tip. I would. Tip number five. Tip I number would recommend. <laughs> Um, I, th I mean, if you have a better one, let me know, but like buying disposable underwear is so yes. useful. I actually learned that from uh, Elliot from Bless the Fall. I remember he's the one that told me that because I was like a little kid and I was like, how do you tour? How do you shower? So, yeah, we exactly. Don't. We don't. Exactly. You're probably not going to be able to shower. Ooh, unless you have a gym membership. Um, like I just bought a Planet Fitness membership, the black card, and then you can use the showers anywhere in the U.S. So. Uh, that might help, but so um, is a tip for underwear or gym membership or both. It's like a hygiene it's tip. A, it's I a, feel like it's, it's a, a hybrid tip. It's a hybrid. It's a two tips. So in one. go buy cheap underwear, <laughs> throw them away after about two shows, uh, three, and three shows, three, three shows, like sometimes five. Here. Socks and too. Just if you can out. get a cheap gym membership, you don't have to go work out. They got showers. Yeah, uh, you can also sleep in the gym too if you want. <laughs> you can get away with it. <laughs> Some of them are twenty-four hours. So I think that's our. Is that our five tips? I think it is. Um, I don't know if you want to throw this. I think in. tip number six is just enjoy the fuck out of your time. Yeah. Don't be a, don't be miserable. Life is so short. It's fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> and also, oh, I had a good one. I had a good one. Fuck, what was it? Seven uh, tips. Yeah, it was seven tips. And, oh, um, if you're ever in like a part of town that you know you don't feel super safe in, park your trailer up against like a wall so no one back can break in. into it. Yeah, back yes. it in. Uh, that's definitely helpful. And uh, I mean, I. I don't know how many times it saved us because I don't know how many times we haven't been <laughs> yeah. robbed, you know? But yeah. we haven't been robbed yet, knock on wood, so there's no wood to knock on. I'm gonna have to use your dick. Uh, but yeah, and those are our five, eight, seven, seven BAC some, tips. Those are our BAC travel tour, tour tips. tips. We, hope them serve you, we hope that they serve you well because they serve us well and we're not dead yet, so we must be doing something right. Yes, right, Ron? Exactly. Hell yeah. Until next time.